on this stretch I'm going to be going from Adelaide to Melbourne stopping at Mount Gambia. From the people of the Blue Lake. Mm. You do know there's a Blue Lake here, don't you? <laughs> I'm just going, what's that? I've never heard of it. It's the one thing, every time I say it to people, oh, I'm going to Mount Gambia, go and see the Blue Lake! You've got to see the Blue Lake! It's the bluest bit of blue water ever in a lake situation. As soon as you say Mount Gambia, I think, oh, have you seen the Blue Lake? Oh, it's lovely. And I've always said it, because I've, I've, I've always turned up and it's been dark by the time I've arrived, and then I've never had a chance to see the Blue Lake. And, you know, and I go, no, I've never seen it. And people always say the same thing. Oh, it's lovely. It's really blue. It's kind of the minimum requirement for a Blue Lake, isn't it? I went up there today for the first time, and quite frankly, it frightened me. <laughs> yeah. Because the blue, like a normal lake, right? A normal lake is sort of like, you got the water there, and then the edges of the lake, right? You can just stroll down to, feed the ducks, maybe put a little boat in there and stuff. Your lake, lovely lake, sheer cliffs! <laughs> That's no way. What's happening there? People taking their kids down for a lovely swim. Come on, kids, let's enjoy the lake. You know, you've got to go swimming in full rock climbing equipment. <laughs> like that, swimming around with crampons on and stuff. <laughs> going, this is brilliant, this. We're never going to get out alive. I'm slightly disappointed, though. I know they've probably called it the Blue Lake because of the colour, but I was kind of hoping it was called the Blue Lake because it was, you know, like a little bit saucy, a little bit blue, a little bit blue, a little bit blue, a little bit naughty, a little bit racy. Not fully graphically rude but just a little bit a little bit cheeky a little bit saucy racy that's what they yeah they should, the racy river that's what runs into the blue lake um, <laughs> but uh, that would be brilliant as if from above you look down and uh, the outline of the top of the lake through natural erosion spelled out ooh her missus but sadly it doesn't you know or maybe it's just a big bum sticking out the you know, the middle there. That's quite scary, the fact that they're called the people of the Blue Lake. <laughs> Do they just appear, like, every night when the Blue Lake just starts to turn dark and the, the people start emerging? <laughs> With strange, eerie voices. We are the people of the Blue Lake. <laughs> See how we have evolved. We have gills for underwater breathing. We have long, grippy claws for climbing <laughs> up the side of the incredibly steep slopes at the side. Just want to point something else out as well. Such a beautiful blue lake here, and then there's an excellent sign here uh, to stop people uh, littering the, with their dogs uh, messing the street. There's a rather odd sort of alien-shaped creature there that seems to be uh, cleaning up after the dog, but even more worrying than that is just here, as he seems to be sc scooping up the poo and putting it on a toothbrush to clean his alien teeth. I'm now heading down the Great Ocean Road to get me to Melbourne. The reason it's called the Great Ocean Road is because it runs right the way along the edge of the ocean, and it's great. There's another road called the Decidedly Average Ocean Road, but that goes through the desert. It's rubbish. This is Melbourne, an incredibly beautiful city with amazing architecture. You might not realise this, but a lot of the buildings here were actually designed using pens or pencils. I just realised I don't know anything about architecture there, but probably pens and pencils. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that, one of the two. Definitely not crayons. That's a well-designed piece of th whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> 
Federation Square, there was a guy who clearly got his pencils out and just did a lovely... He was going to build a skyscraper originally. He's doing a lovely big skyscraper. It was all angular, and he went like that, and he looked, and he went, mm, I don't know if that's right. And he screwed it up, and he threw it away, and he went, right, I'm going to do it again. And his mate went, you do know you've got to hand that in first thing tomorrow morning. And he went, oh, shit. So he got the crumpled paper, and he just, he just went like that. And his mate went, that's really good. And they built it exactly as it was on the pier. It's <laughs> a big crumpled thing. Mm. If you go around the back of Federation Square, there's a giant fag end and some dust <laughs> that was in the bin. But he... <laughs> that was great. You all went like that. <laughs> I didn't know that was the case. Giant fag end and some dust, yeah, apparently so. Sure.